Holy Wire Mind here. This is tutorial 14a in the Expression 2 series, where I'm going to be covering entity discovery and coloring as well. So let's start by getting a target of type entity and a list of type array. And we're going to have to see if we can actually use the find function. So we should say find by query, and that's going to output a 1 if we can use find functions on the server. And then typically you might put a run on tick or an interval command here. And I just want to give you fair warning that your find uh, commands are not going to run on every tick of the Expression 2 chip. They actually have a delay associated with it, which we can find by saying print, and we'll put ur to represent update rate, and then we'll say find update rate. All right, and we're going to round that, because it's kind of a lengthy decimal number, to two decimal places. All right, so that should paste it, and our update rate is 0 0.05. All right, so let's go back. If you recall from prior vi videos, I used the find by command. I used the uh, model in video 4D and 4E in Expression 2 series. But we're going to switch it up and use find by class. And that's going to find every class type player on the map and put it on a list. And the first result on the list is going to be given to the entity target, or assigned to entity target, which can also be done like this, if you remember, find result 1, 1. All right, and then we're going to print target name. All right, cool. So let's do that. There we have holy, good. Uh, we can also do this by getting rid of this and say find player by name and inside we're going to have a string and that string is going to be the owner's name my name in this case this is going to output an entity and from that entity we're going to grab that name and print it so it should say holy oh. uh, put position, should have put name keep that in mind so there it says holy now you can also use a different method in find, uh, which is going to be find in a geometrical shape. In this case, we're going to use find by sphere because it's kind of simple to understand. In which we're going to take the center point of the sphere, which is going to be the expression two chips position. And from that position, we're going to extend out 100 gmod units and get, grab every entity within that sphere and put it on the list. So this should find me and we're going to print the first find result. And it should give me my entity data, which it does. So player number one, holding. Now going into a little bit more familiar setting, we're going to go back to find by model. And we're going to go grab our two favorite cubes, or our favorite cube, but he's going to have a friend. We've got to put string there just to appease the gods of expression two. So here we go put our cube here, put another cube here, and we're going to grab that cube's uh, model path, so, or file path. And now we're going to put that list with this find, that's generated by this find by command to our variable list. So to do that, we're going to say find to array. And you can also use find to table for the table variant of this. And then we're going to print that list. So let's do that. All right. And as you can see, it gives us both of our blocks, block number 173 and 185. But how do we know which one is which? So I'm going to actually sort the list. So we're going to do find sort by distance. And I'm going to do it relative to how far away it is from my position or the owner's position. So the closer the block is to me, the higher priority it has on the list. So this is block number 185 and that's block 173. I'm close to 185, thus it's number one on the list. If I go to 173 and I update the chip, now 173 is first on the list as opposed to 185. So, pretty tricky, huh? Pretty fascinating. Um, you can also do this very same thing by saying, uh, like say you want to grab the closest, so we put target is equal to find result one, in this case, 
and we're going to print out the target instead of the entire list. Now if we want to do this in another form, we can say the target, and we'll just uh, get rid of this list but keep the find by model. We'll say target is equal to find closest to the owner position. Alright, so it's going to print that one out. And as you can see, it does the exact same thing as we did with the other commands. Now, if you want to filter out your list, so I'm going to have to remake that list real quick. Find two array. If you want to filter things from that list, like uh, specifically by if it's a model or if it's a player or whatnot, well, you can say, after your find by command, you can say find clip and um, to keep those models on the list or to filter everything that isn't the model on the list we're going to use find clip 2 or find clip 2 model and this will also be find clip 2 player find clip 2 name of course and that's not going to change the list at all because it's filtering everything that isn't that model off the list. Now if we want to filter that specific model off the list we use find clip from model so right now we have a list which is nothing all right, so simple enough. So let's go back to this example, and I'm going to show you how to change the color of an entity. So the color or the target is going to be the closest result, if you recall, with the matching model. And we're going to, instead of print target, we're going to set the target's color with set color, and we're going to color it red. So 255 00. And here we go, it's red. If I want to adjust the alpha as well as the color at the same time, I can use a VEC4, so 255, 0, 0, and I'll put the alpha about half. So it should give me a fairly transparent block. So you can set the color, um, you can set the alpha manually if you just want to change that with the set alpha command. You can change the skin and material all the same way, and also you can uh, get the color of the given target. Uh, so let's say we want to print that in chat. Should return string. So here you see in chat it says 255.00. If I want to get the alpha with that, put uh, color 4, and so on. You can get the skin and material and everything in the same fashion. But all right, that concludes everything that I wanted to share with you in the introduction to um, entity discovery and all that. I'm going to be getting into white and black lists next time, so I'll see you then.